Hey there everyone, my name is Eduardo Arroyo, but you can call me Ed, and today we are here at Koi Tower. Right now I am here at Washington Square. We're waiting for the bus to head to Koi Tower. Uh, we're taking this one right here. Uh, you could easily walk to Koi Tower. It's like 16, 15 minutes away, but we kind of are not feeling it. I'm sick as well as one of my friends is sick. So we want to like minimize the time we're outside in the cold. So that's why we decided to take this uh, bus right here. That's Washington Square right here. This is the place where there's like a big church. I don't think you can see it right now, but it's over there. That's the church. And our bus is right here. So I'll catch you guys whenever we get to Koi Tower. We just realized we got on the wrong bus, so we have to get off. We're like, well, there's no one like on the bus, but probably because everyone stayed at Koi Tower. So now we have to get off and get a bus on the opposite side. Dang it. Okay, now we should be on the right stop. We're having difficulties at the beginning, but I'm sure everything will be okay. And we'll be at the top of the world as soon as we get to Koi Tower. here at Koi Tower and we're here like right at the door and someone said that like it's gonna take 45 minutes I don't know if that's the the line or until they keep or start accepting people in again make them buy you lunch for that <laughs> so we just made it to the line here at Koi Tower um, we thought that it was not like open or that it was gonna take a lot of time to get uh, people to start coming in again but that's not the case it's just that there's a huge line hopefully It'll go a little bit faster so that we can get there as soon as possible. Really cool thing about Koi Tower is that there's a mural inside of the walls uh, as you're going up. I think it's a really interesting piece as it kind of shows like a lot of motion. Like there's something going on in every corner of the mural. That's a little uh, sneak peek of what the outside of Koi Tower looks like. And up to that point you can get here for free but you can see you can take a look like at the city and the sea from, from that point right there. But if you want to come in here, that's when you have to pay nine bucks. They did tell us that it, it was going to take a while, but I mean, we already waited an hour or more for like the bus and to get here and all that. So it doesn't hurt to just wait a little longer. At least we're here. It's really cool too, because you can uh, actually learn about the history of these murals. There's like plaques that tell you the story of the artist and like what exactly is that they're depicting in the picture. So it's really cool that uh, even though it takes like a little time to get to the top because there's a lot of people It's like a mini museum at the same time. So you're not just like standing there, you know, you're not just there Checking your phone you can actually learn a, a little bit about the history of San Francisco and about other things that are depicted through the murals We're inching closer to the elevator We'll be there soon. This is like literally the definition of so close yet so far that's the gift shop right there, and that's the elevator. They also gave us this little stamp. Mine doesn't look like anything. His actually is like, that's like I love SF, but mine is just like a. Oh. Hey, how's everyone doing? Hi, how are you? I'm doing great. And they're also wet and slippery today. Thank you. So we're out of the elevator. Now we're climbing some stairs. They asked us to be careful. Just because there was a lady that supposedly fell in the morning. Imagine that. That probably hurt a lot too. Yeah, we're here. So we finally made it to the top. This is Koi Tower. Let me give you like a 360 degree oh my gosh. view. And as you can see, it's not that big, 
But let me show you the view. That's what we're here for. In my opinion, this is the the place where you can get the best view of the city. You can also see um, the Bay Bridge over there. But this, the skyline, this is the best part. Uh, we're gonna go to the next window and check out the bridge too. But let's just take time and, and appreciate this because it's it's amazing. You can literally get, uh, see like most of the city from from Koi Tower. So here is more of the skyline. This is just normal buildings. The whole city you can see from here and then over there in the distance. Let me try to zoom in. You can see Golden Gate Bridge. Look at that. And then from a different window you can also see Alcatraz. It looks tiny from here but I'm gonna try to zoom in so that you can get a better picture of it. That right there. That's Alcatraz. Boom. If you haven't seen one of my videos related to Alcatraz, I'll link it down below. You should watch it. It's pretty, pretty cool. One of the main challenges here is not, it's trying not to get into like people's pictures. <laughs> like I was walking and I'm like, oh shit, like I'm like right in the middle. <laughs> and I'm like, you're recording a video. <laughs> inception, camera inception. We were at the top for about 25 minutes. Now we're heading down. We're gonna go to the gift shop and then go eat because we haven't eaten since like 12. There's a lot of traffic, but we'll be down there. We just made it to the gift shop. It's a tiny place, but there's a lot of different things. There's, I mean, any, all the things that you would expect from a gift shop, caps, shirts, pictures, etc. So we're just gonna check out and see if we take anything. Just like that, our experience here at Koi Tower is done, but we're gonna explore the outside area like we told you. Koi Tower is a really cool place to explore inside, as you saw the murals, at, as well as the top of the, of the tower, which is like the main point of attraction here. But there's also things to do around uh, the tower, which is what I'm about to do. There's a lot of really cool houses, there's trees, there's nature, and there's also awesome views that you can get from here even if it's not the very top. All around Court Tower there's machines like this one, which you can use in order to like spot better views, but <laughs> I don't think you'd be able to see anything with those trees covering uh, right there. Let's move on. This is the best view that I could get, and it's not even that good, I guess, if I had like a better zoom or something, but I don't, so yeah. In front of Koi Tower, you can also find the statue of Christopher Columbus. I don't know how the story ties together. I don't know why the statue of Columbus is here, but it's here. <laughs> so according to this writing right here, this statue of Columbus is a gift from the city of Genoa in Italy. That solves the mystery of the statue of Columbus and why it was here. I think we are done taking pictures. I think we're both, or all of us are tired and hungry, so we're just gonna go ahead and wait for the bus. And uh, hopefully we can eat some good Italian food soon. So we'll see you guys when we get to, to the place. And so after the bus finally arrived, we're here at Italian Homemade, which is some legit Italian cuisine place. Uh, according to my friend here, I'll be the judge of that, so stay tuned. We're waiting and hoping to see that they have a table for us. 